Good afternoon. In 2018, the United States passed a law which restricted Chinese-made magnets to be used in American military equipment. Right away, the available list of suppliers for these magnets dropped to just a handful, a few companies in Japan and at home. And if this all seems immediately very suspicious, that they might have passed this law in the name of national security, just so these companies here can make a lot of money, you're likely right. The problem, of course, is China. China owns the magnet market just like they own most of the others. Here's the headline from the Wall Street Journal. Suddenly it's an emergency that China makes most of the magnets, 92% of them for the whole world. So now we're paying hundreds of millions of dollars to pay people in the United States to learn how to make magnets. And in 2027, three years from now, it's not just magnets. It's the rare earths that go into those magnets also, which all need to be produced and refined by the United States. And China owns all that industry too. What are the chances? So we Americans need to get ready to pay billions more to fix that problem also. $450 million so far and counting just to try to meet the requirements of the 2018 regulations. And thus far we've helped the German company set up, a couple of others, but here the Wall Street Journal goes into all the problems we've got. The first problem is that the Chinese prices are just so low and they always will be. So we'll always be paying over global market price for magnets that come from our factories. Chinese expansion was so high and also so efficient that rare earth metals dropped in price despite soaring demand. And the drop in prices means that new suppliers aren't going to make money, so they're not coming into the market. We'll say that again, that the demand for rare earths is soaring, but prices are going down because of new efficiencies from Chinese producers. The next problem is high regulation. It's very difficult to build a mine in the United States anywhere, let alone a refinery. Everybody hopes to have them in the US, but nobody wants them in their own neighborhood. Next is that there isn't anyone around anymore who even knows how to build a mine or refinery in the United States. So we need to bring them in or send our executives abroad to learn how. The high cost problem means that we are telling the Pentagon that they need to buy higher cost magnets, ours, and that might mean that they're buying fewer of them, which could be a good thing, come to think of it. But then here's another challenge. As big as our defense spending is, it will always be a small part of the whole rare earths market. For magnet producers to make money, they need to sell the magnets to industrial users, car factories, wind farms, medical equipment. And all those buyers would need to be willing to pay a lot more than they have to. And their products would, of course, be more expensive than products made with Chinese magnets. I guess we'll fix all those problems later, too. Uh, Watertown, just outside Shanghai, coming up next. Be good.